Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 3. Where today we're playing as Carlos because Jill is feeling a little bit under the weather. If I turn into a zombie, don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. Carlos refuses to give his word. I don't want to kill Jill either. Let's see what we have available here. Knife, ink ribbon. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with the guns. I know how these things work. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Being able to see, it's important. Where am I going? That would also be a good thing to know. Well, I'm looking for a cure for Jill. Probably want to look in the hospital. Right, I think I remember now. Jeez, these rooms are just packed. Everything everywhere. Nothing left for Carlos, though. Just zombies. Wow. This place got really messed up. That's what happens when you take a nap. Things change. The world isn't the same as you remember it. Yeah, I do want to go this way. So lead me to the goddess puzzle room. Oh boy, spiders. Oh goody. <laughs> They're just, like, crawling all over my face there. Yeah. Hopefully that's over with now. Hmm. Well, Carlos doesn't have to know the true fate of his comrade. His motivations. He can be happy in his ignorance. He doesn't want that power drill off the wall. Can't quite reach it. Thankfully, Carlos is strong enough to push that bell so we can actually get through here. And on to the real excitement. It's raining outside. At the moment, you know, it's raining water, but pretty soon it's going to be raining a zombie. Ho ho ho! That's always fun. A simple lock. Jill's gonna need her lockpick when she comes through here. Oh! Spoilers! Spoilers! Jill doesn't die from the infection. I know you weren't expecting that. But hey. Sometimes I slip up. Welcome to Raccoon Hospital. Surely this is the best place to go in a zombie apocalypse situation. You certainly won't find, you know, Patient Zero here or anything, even close to that. Completely ridiculous if you imagine. Oh no! I... Okay, now that's actually a problem. No, thank you. You may not have thought the assault rifle would be a very powerful weapon. I know that's what uh, my first impression was, but it really pulls its weight and pushes out those bullets. What's strange is it, uh, it lists its ammo in a percentage. 1% is about 3 shots, so you get a total of about 300 bullets. I'm going to try not to waste them here, because you do not get any reloads. So for the rest of the game, Carlos is not going to have any ammo, because I'm just going to waste it all. Oh good, it's kept tidy. Unlike the rest of this place. What are you looking at? Dead Hunter? I'll 
I'll take a save room. Numerous numbers of medical cards. That, that's a lot of medical cards. Wow. I mean, a numerous amount or large numbers of medical cards I can handle, but numerous numbers is too much. Those hunters could be getting up and you wouldn't even know it, Carlos. How does that make you feel? Okay, apparently there's not a whole lot going on here. What I'm gonna do is... Yeah, I'll keep one red herb on me just in case we find a green or two. Which I think is pretty likely. So we're here now, but what are we looking for? Blue herb is a start. I swear you could do that before in other games. Maybe in later games. One or the other. Ah, Director's Diary. He's talking about how the infection spreads. Oh, he used the Z word. That's unusual. Yes, the clinical charts will save you, Doctor. Oh, he's itchy tasty. There's no hope for him. From... His neck has been devoured from the inside out. First, how can you tell? And second, what the hell? Oh, good. No hospital is complete without handgun bullets. What's this we have here? A tape recorder. Hold on a minute. I just noticed the umbrella symbol at the bottom of my inventory. That's an interesting little touch. I like it. What are these curtains here for? It looks like they're blocking a fire hose or something. Unfinished coffee. Finished coffee. Voice recognition lock. Can I enter my voice? No, I have to use the tape recorder. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However... A oh, good thing that doctor has a distinctive voice. Okay, that takes care of that. Not really happy with this inventory situation, though. That blue herb is pretty pointless, so I'm just gonna put it away. And probably never ever use it. I only picked it up because I thought I could combine it at the time. Alright, onwards and upwards, or downwards. You never really know with these elevators. What do you think, Carlos? It's the best course of action. Fourth floor, third basement, or open? I think we're gonna go to the fourth floor. Oh my goodness! Okay, hello. save those assault rifle rounds. Alright, looks like I'm going to be able to. Holy moly. It's a hell of a lineup for the elevator. I wonder what's so wrong with the fourth floor. Everyone wants to leave. Ooh. Just imagine... Imagine those doors bisecting all those bodies. It's not really safe. Make sure you return materials to their original positions. 
Doesn't include the notice board though, that can just remain askew forever.